I've recently shared an artwork online titled Dark Souls and received a lot of positive feedback when I asked if I should make a tutorial or walkthrough on how I made it. So here I am, my name is Ken Liang and welcome to how to make a Dark Souls boss room. Before we begin, I would assume that you are already familiar with the workflow, navigation and controls in Blender. If you are totally new to Blender, my advice is for you to go through the donuts and apples tutorials out there first. For this walkthrough, I will be using these three models in my scene. If you intend to follow along, I've listed down the links in the description below so that you can download and use them as well. Also, please go to my ArtStation link down below to download this artwork as I will be using it for matching the camera angles later on. Are you ready? Let's begin. Start a new scene and select your camera. Enable background images and add in the reference artwork that you've downloaded from my art station. Set the focal length to 21mm and pull in a new 3D viewport. We will be using the viewport on the right primarily to view the scene from the camera's perspective. Our floor will be the same height as the baseline of the X and Y axis. Move the cube up so that it rests on it. Move the camera down to almost touching the floor line and rotate it to the left by using the 3D cursor as the pivot point. Then, switch the pivot point back to median and tilt the camera up by double tapping on the X axis. Try to match the cube on the right viewport so that the base aligns correctly with the one in the reference artwork. Continue adjusting the camera until you match the perspective of the cube correctly. When you are done, Select the vertices on top of the cube and move them down to match the height of the one in the reference artwork. It is best to set a keyframe for the camera's location and rotation so that we don't lose the view if we accidentally move the camera. Next, add a cylinder to your scene and edit it to match the environment in the reference artwork. Try to get the height aligned first. And if done correctly, your camera should be just outside of the cylinder. Add two edge loops at the middle of the cylinder and adjust them so that they are aligned with the balcony. If they won't match, perhaps we need to adjust the camera again. I think it looks fine right now.
Select the bottom row of faces on the cylinder and extrude them, but right click to hold them at its place. Then, scale them up on the X and Y axis like so, and adjust the height if they are a little off. And now for the pillars, add in a new cylinder and well, you know the drill. Once we are done with the pillars, select the main cylinder and delete the face on top. To make the dome, we need to add in a UV sphere and delete the bottom half of the faces. Edit accordingly to match the reference artwork. Set the objects to shade smooth and enable auto smooth for the normals. With all the basic shapes in place, it is time to import the hero statue. Try to match its height with the one I have in the reference artwork. Rotate it and try to find the best angle for our camera's view. And we are done with the blocking phase. In the next video, I will be showing you guys how to light the scene with volumetric lights. Thank you for watching, save your file, and I'll see you in the next video.